Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Cast Training, and welcome to part two on this. So, in this video, we're going to be looking at the new Kane 458S, and we're going to put it up against the old 456. So, this is part two about this uh, analyzer, and if you haven't seen part one on the unboxing and turning it on and things, then why not? Why haven't you seen it? Go back over there and have a look at that one first before you continue on this video. So, as usual, stop waffling Derek and just get on with this video. Now, one of the things you can do with this new Kane 458S is you can design and build the little online portal thing which is dead easy to do, you just follow the steps and you go on to kane.co.uk to do it. You basically just got to put your details in, the analyzer's details in, and you can even upload your own logo and you get this little portal. So you can see the prices, you can buy stuff, you can send it in for service, you can report it stolen, or you can remove the analyzer if you sell it, or it gets broken. So that's a new idea from Kane. I'd say dead easy to set up and I would always advise you to do that with your analyzer. And then if it does get stolen, then if it goes back to Kane, they know it doesn't belong to the person who sent it back. Now, as you can see, I have both of them set for tightness test and both of them are charging. And you can see both screens look exactly the same when we're charging the battery. So that one looks like it's going a little bit quicker than that one. Anyway, the reason why I've got one charged is because I can't remember if they're charged or not. So we don't want them running out of charge, but at least it shows you can see the screens exactly the same. So turning on slightly different. So we've got the on button here and the on here. So we're going to turn them both on at the same time and see what happens. So you can see via it, via it saying wireless at the bottom, everything looks pretty much the same. Tightness test pressed to zero. Okay, so pump didn't come on for either of them. And we've got, it says, press to zero, but it says press pump on that one. And that one we have to press, so. It says tightness test let by. So they're pretty much the same. So we can press our accept buttons. This one's in the middle and this one's here. So again, let by, they're both exactly the same. So the only difference is the arrows are different. So that one's pointing to that one. That one's pointing to the send button. And the screens are exactly the same. Even the little arrows are in the same place. <laughs> So tightness test procedure is exactly the same for both of them. There's no difference. Now, while the tightness test thing's counting down, the different parts are underneath. So you can see this one has its ports which are, stick out quite far and these ones are internal. Now, one thing I did notice is this socket, or this male end, this is off the new one and it still fits in the old one so they are still the same size but for analyzing they're a different size so that one will fit in the old analyzer port and this one doesn't fit in the in the new analyzer port it's a different size so that's one of the main differences because see that's smaller the new one's a red plug for the analyzer so don't understand really why they changed those but so far the difference is on the bottom part is these stick out where these don't but other than that on the bottom I'm changing the charger side we have to swap them over and the drain plug for the old one is there and the new one is on the back so there are some subtle differences on the outer casing 
and locks obviously but uh, screen wise exactly the same now let's turn them off and see if they turn off the same oh kind of except that's it had a big delay on the button but other than that they pretty much turned off the same now let's see how they fare when we put them onto ratio and we turn them on. Okay, so this one is a minute and this one is 90 seconds. So you can see this one's done, this one's still got 30 seconds to go, around about, but you can also see this one's new calibration as well. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, so you can see the screens are both on now, and you can see they're both exactly the same. But does anybody know what this flashing blue light means does it mean the pumps on if you know what this flashing blue light means can you put the comment down in the comment section because uh, is it necessary that there's a blue light there it looks fancy but I don't know what it does so if you know what it is put it down in the comment section down below so that's turning them on in flue gas analyzer mode now let's turn them off in flue gas analyzer mode and see if they turn off any differently than each other and no so they both pretty much turned off exactly the same so this one stopped battery charging now Does that mean it's full so that was turning them off now as you can see this is the printers and they are exactly the same no difference whatsoever this is the new one this is the old one slightly different in blue color but other than that the same let's turn them both on so you can see the lights a bit uh, brighter on the new one and it turned on a little bit easier but other than that they're both exactly the same now they even charge the same so this one comes with a different charger than the analyzer so you've got two chargers now what's that about why couldn't they make that usb charging as well so you could charge it in your van without having a van charger that makes no sense so they are the same they've not changed these at all so that's a bit of a disappointment not changing them to usb but other than that same printers. Now, got the uh, analyzers and the two printers set up ready for printing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find out if the new printer and the new analyzer is faster than the old printer and the old analyzer or vice versa. So all I've got to do is press these two send buttons at the same time and we'll see which prints out the fastest. So one, two, three. Ooh, so they're both neck and neck. Ooh, <laughs> the new one won by about a second. <laughs> so you can see they pretty much print exactly the same as well. But this one has a new trick up its sleeve when it comes to printing. Uh, this one doesn't do it. So let's have a look and see what that is. Now, Kane have a printer app. So what we need to do is go into settings and we need to fill all our details in here, which we've filled in. So come out of that now and we go into printout and we need to connect to the analyzer. 
and it says looking for the analyzer and it says it's found that one so it says connection connecting to the analyzer okay so it's now connected to the analyzer but now what we've got to do with the analyzer is we need to go into menu we need to go into setup and we need to go down to printer and we need to press printer and we need to now find wireless and go into there the printer so what we need to do now is we need to go back and we need to go to reports so we go down to report press select we'll do that tightness test one again press select and then we'll go view select and then we go down to print and we need to press this button here and it should appear here which it instantly did so hopefully hopefully you can see that so you can see now it's just sent the report to my phone and now I can email the printout or oh, it says click on so all I can do now is print it well email it to somebody and you can see it's all there ready for emailing and I can fill all the screen in okay so that is Kane's new printing app now compare that to everybody else's apps come on Kane that's pretty damn shocking <laughs> I just <sighs> yeah I just um, I'm bewildered that that's what they've come up with with the app it's way behind everybody else so if you want to see what everybody else's analyzers do with their apps then have a look at our other videos on uh, where I compare the three analyzers between the Kane, the Blue Lizer and the Anton. But Kane is still behind those other manufacturers with your app. So that's how you get the new app onto your analyzer and onto your phone. And then that's how you uh, transfer it over. So all you can do is, re uh, is is email it you can't write a report out you can't do your landlord's reports so unless there's another app but i can't find another app for it so that's the new app okay so the last one we've got to do now is the uh, cane you can see it's running the pump is on again we're at the same height this is a lot heavier uh, than the others, so <laughs> this might make a bigger noise. So, are we ready? One, two, three. Now, as you can see, I've got the two analyzers magnets stuck onto the front of the boiler and not too bad the new magnet. Mm, I would say slightly, slightly better than the old one, but not massively different, if anything. Now, first thing I do notice is the probe on the new one is just slightly longer not much longer maybe an inch just over an inch but there is a slight difference but you can see the handles are very different okay now we can also see that's the red plug and that's the black plug and you should be able to see they're pretty different so uh, as we said before in the video, that's one of the big changes is this red plug. Now, because the bowl trap is inside the actual analyzer, I don't see why you couldn't use that probe on there or that probe on there. 
but maybe uh, someone from Kane can put down in the comments down below whether that's okay or not to use the old probe on the new one or the new one on the old one because what I'm trying to get at is so far they're virtually exactly the same so can you just buy an upgrade for that and still use your own kit unlike some of the um, manufacturers of analyzers when they change their design they completely change the tools that go with it so you can't use the old tools on the new one Anton anyway other than that it, uh, it looks uh, pretty much the same so we know the analyzer turns on the same we know the analyzer um, screen is pretty much the same and the only major differences I can see at the moment between these two devices is first of all this has two pumps in it to protect it from going over high CO uh, and uh, this one has the app kind of but other than that everything else works exactly the same printers the same so so far what I'm seeing is it's the same sheep but just in a different sheepskin at the moment so if you agree with me why don't you put the comments down at the bottom and if you disagree me, with me and think this is a far superior machine than that one then again put the comments down in the bottom oh yeah I forgot a few things didn't I this one is slightly lighter than that one not much you know the bag test I did in part one if you haven't seen it and this one turns on within 60 seconds every time when you turn it on where this one when you first turn it on for the day it turns on in 90 seconds um, other than that it's exactly the same for me I just think it's pretty much like your wife you know she looks like that during the day and then when you're going out to some swanky restaurant she's got her makeup on and a nice dress and she looks like that sorry darling but anyway that's what I personally think I don't think there's any difference by the few little things a few little tweaks they've done um, so yeah that's basically my opinion on the new Kane 458S. Would I have one? Oh yeah, I bought one. Am I getting another one? Yeah, I'm going to order another one. They are dead easy to use. Um, and everybody who comes in for reassessment wants to use Kane. So yeah, we will be buying another one. So, if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up? Or leave a constructive comment down below if you've not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe because it helps and don't forget to hit that notification bell because I release videos mainly on Mondays and Wednesdays all I've got left to say is sorry Dali <laughs> thanks for listening thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys <laughs>